You know who I like? I like Frankie Jonas. Me too. He is oh, like is he raunchy. actually their brother? Yeah. Yes, he's the fourth little brother. Oh, I thought it was he like was a joke. Lot, no, he's just a lot younger than them. You can't tell. He looks just like him. No, I literally thought he got verified because the joke. They just wanted to push the joke that far. No. Where like he, they brought him on, like I may, maybe Camp Rock. They brought him on. They would bring him on shows that they were on just for like a little, like throw in the fourth Jonas. Oh yeah, my god. Young boys. Is he? Now he's probably twenty one. I think yeah. he's like. Six but he was like too young to, be, young in to be in the band. Yeah, yeah. Damn, like they were all very close in age, and then it was like Frankie. That's actually but now pretty he's cool. Like, he's like, very, he's very funny. funny. He's got good style, good tattoos. Wow, I good for him. Superstar. Hopefully, he gets big, becomes super. Maybe they'll let him in the band now. Yeah, that'd be. That'd Can be I be the band stylist? Instead? Imagine they replace. Of can't be pants. Imagine they replace like one of them with the brother and do a music video like that. But like the voice <laughs> is coming from the yeah. the brother that's missing. That'd be are pretty they, funny. Are they still together? I remember there was like that rebirth of the band. And then they made I the documentary. It, oh yeah, it like died out, right? It died out pretty quick because they don't have any more songs out, right? I feel like when when they want to, they'll come out with a single. When they want to, they'll like come up with a song together. That's true. I think they they're could so do whatever. like that's how it should be. It shouldn't be so like like One Direction should just come out with a song and be like, we're not together, yeah. but here's a song. That's what Lord should do. She should come that's out with fun. just songs every fucking few months. God, <laughs> God. I just, I just feel bad for In Sync. I think they. Like, oh, I know. They're all still trying to chase it and do it. Because like, Justin's so far removed. Uh, so far. And they can't. But like he would never go back and like perform with them or like make music with Cause, them. Because he's I doing think, so well by I himself. I know, but now. I think he would. Yeah. I think he's like, he you has so? a heart to like do that. Yeah. I feel like now he has it. Like back in like the 2020 album, he wouldn't do it. What if the rest of the band is just kind of like jealous of him and they don't want like. Yeah, what if they don't it? like him? Yeah. Ooh. We don't know. We got to think about the Inside other side. Inside Scoop. Exactly. They're doing a tour that's like. In street or something? In street? Huh? Like, oh yes, it's they, like a yes. mix between. The, I don't know the. In sync and Backstreet Boys. Yeah. Did you not see the no TikTok way. of them doing a song together? And when you oh. see it, your brain's like, Wait, it's like back sync or I don't know Nick what the. That's is that the one where they were dancing in the TikTok? Yeah, oh, I, I didn't, saw that. I didn't even realize that, that it was the two right. of them together. Pretty yeah. cool. Can they do that legally? Like, yeah, they do. They can do whatever the hell they it's a, want. It's a collab. It's like two artists making yeah, a song together. It's like a do. super group. Everybody I has. never realized how easy it was to find podcasts on Spotify. Like, we were at that party and we were talking to the Spotify execs, and I said, like, I just think it's really hard to find podcasts on Spotify. And he just pulled up the library and he goes, it's yeah, right, right here. there. It's like on the top. Next to your music, it's just podcasts. podcasts. It's number but one like, thing. And then they've got like the featured section where it'll show you like the, uh, like the, yeah, they did a really good job with like list the, of the ones that are like, like the top or comedy. Yeah, they did a really good job. And we'll, I, we'll be on the chart I, one. Day. I think I think we're no. Honestly, we haven't checked in a while, but I think we're on there all the time. I don't want to check. <laughs> I don't think it's good for my mental. You know, I'm gonna yeah. I need a little ego boost. I can sure use well, one. I, say, we're about to start this podcast. I don't want like <laughs> it's either gonna be an ego boost or we're gonna end the podcast right <laughs> now because we're gonna have I gotta, I gotta check no. now. I gotta check. Oh, come on, guys. Just Number 20,000. <laughs> <laughs> if we're not, baby, make sure to give us some reviews. <laughs> oh, we're there. Uh, nice. Give us a five star so we could, we could bump Number up what? in the ranking. Um, top 30, at least. Should we guess? I think we're 27. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I would say top 30. 42. 20. Whoa! Yeah. Oh my God. Like comedy. Yeah. Okay. The <laughs> okay. Overall, fuck off. In man. the world. I, I, I was like, we're the 20th biggest podcast I was, feel, in the I was world. feeling here, and then it went right back. Fuck it. No. <laughs> top 20. Who are we next to? Crazy. Who are we next to? We're yeah, next we to sandwiched. Bill Burr. That's great. Whoa. T Tiny Me Gang is right on top of Bill Burr. Bill Burr. Bill Burr. Um, Impulsive is under us. <laughs> are you? We're higher than Impulsive. <laughs> we are. But like, that's that's because we probably posted. No, we're after. higher than Impulsive. Okay. Point them out, baby. Take call it out. Yeah. Take that, <laughs> Logan. Good company, Take that. though. <laughs> I can't believe they're in. Logan's what? like, why the fuck are they looking at their charts? I can't believe they're in Puerto <laughs> Rico. <laughs> they are in I know Puerto we're up Rico now. Like they're recording in Puerto yeah, Rico, so yeah. every time a guest on there, they do they fly them out. They I, haven't really had a guest, but I, like their set is there now. I'd yeah. love to see it. Pretty crazy. They already they have on it. impulsive. They already flew there. They're there now. I would right? go on. Uh, yeah, all, we're not I, impulsive I would go enough. On with all of us, <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't want not go alone. On. Yeah. I'd be fucking down, tear us apart. I'd actually be down to fly there for the podcast. Let's I love we're just inviting ourselves onto impulsive. I, we'll see you soon, Logan. Yeah, have them tear us a new one. Okay, now. Oh my god. Have them tear us apart. Yeah, Logan Actually, just no, spent like a million dollars on NFTs. <laughs> I will never fucking understand. I hate I just, You know what too. I spent a thousand dollars on? What? No, I said a million. Oh, okay, shit. Never mind. <laughs> you know what I spent a thousand dollars on? What'd you spend a thousand dollars on? 
Um, spent more than a thousand dollars on a on the intro song. <laughs> oh, should we? Da, 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 <laughs> oh yeah, well, guys, we're gonna do the intro before before we nice, find out it. what Matt spent a thousand dollars on. Tune in. <laughs> Tune don't, don't in skip next ahead. Week. You're gonna want to watch this. It's Coffee Talk, talk baby. baby. Okay, Matt, what did you spend a thousand dollars? Welcome back, back to Zane and Heath. <laughs> <laughs> Lit stick. My God. <laughs> welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. You're your host, Heath. <laughs> he's your host, Zane. Uh, she's your uh, co host, Mariah. And he's the better co host, Matt. <laughs> oh, Mariah. come on. He doesn't deny it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, don't stop. be. Stop. I'll take Mariah it. Just... <laughs> 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 All right, Matt. What, what did, did you spend a thousand dollars on? Um, so, as you know, um, the fall season is upon us. It's here. A sweater? Um, no, it wasn't a sweater. Do you really not have any guess on what I spent my money on? I hope it wasn't that cardigan you're wearing. I was gonna say, I I'm surprised spend... it's not like a pullover or something. <laughs> pullover. I didn't spend a thousand dollars. I thought it's that was yours when it was on the chair. I was like, oh. I did too. <laughs> I swear to God. I did not put it on. I was like, oh. I was like, that's a little tight. <laughs> Uh, I know. Well, it's an XL. I, I I didn't know how I was gonna size up. It's a little snug, but I think I'm rocking. I think it. you guys could like pass it on to each other. Look Green like jacket, gold too. jacket. Comment down below what you think this smells like. <laughs> Does it smell? Does it smell? To, like, I, no. to me, I would think like it smells whatever. like potpourri. Oh, what's the thing? What's the balls you put in? Like uh, you. The moth okay. balls. Moth the moth balls. Oh, what a weird. We used to have them in our dad's house back then, and made everything smell like shit. Like dad's dirt, house. Yeah, <laughs> and that's where you get holes in your T-shirt from, right? Like yeah, you like moths, fume, like people, moth them out. Yeah, yeah, people always have like vintage shirts with holes in it, and they're like, "Oh yeah, it's moths." And I'm like, "No, I'm pretty sure you just cut holes in that shirt." <laughs> I see out. the scissor mark. Call it's a out. straight line. Wait, why did I hear that shit too? Yeah, that's like a thing. Yeah, but people, because that's where you get those holes from is from moths. Yeah, and people think it's cool in vintage shirts, but usually they're cutting holes. Okay, guys, so I spent. Oh. A thousand dollars. A little over a thousand dollars. So you know, fall's yeah. coming. And what did I get into for Christmas season? Christmas trains. village. Christmas Tiny village. Christmas oh my gosh! You bought a oh my village. god! Yeah, the Christmas trains. Yes, not Christmas. Or, I didn't have a train in my Christmas Wait, village. You got oh, something I, I think for I just village. assumed they all have it. No, I'm starting a Halloween village. Oh my god! That is oh wait, not that's a thing. Cool. Yes, it is. And buddy, I thought I wasn't going to get into Halloween villaging until I walked into Michael's and I saw all of them set up and like the same like uh t like the same material like literally the like same thing as houses Christmas but <laughs> halloween themed so instead of like the town is the like ready houses. for christmas it's Did you everybody run this by your landlord <laughs> um but it's <laughs> yeah. good for the because content. it's gonna take in this up half the fucking no house. i already it's know your kitchen island <laughs> i was just gonna say that <laughs> i know better pay rent <laughs> i already know where it's gonna be yeah. okay so and it's not going to affect anywhere else. Is that else why in the house. we went there today, just for you to pick out where you're going to put the fucking I did. Village? I did measure out where I'm going to put it. But um, so the thing is, I thought, oh, Halloween villaging is going to be easy. You know, it's just as like, uh, I mean, Christmas villaging is still kind of expensive. This is like no joke. The level amount of money people spend on Halloween villages. Like, I got a bunch of mine for my Christmas village last year for like 140 bucks. Like six or eight, twelve pieces for 140 bucks. Yeah. I drove down to San Diego, drove two and a half Shut hours. The fuck up. You did not drive all the way down there for I, fucking villages. I did. Man. And I went to the oh, bank and man. cashed out fourteen hundred dollars in cash. Are you why the, why did you, you fucking charge it? Tune? Why are you paying cash for what are you doing? Because you can't because it's someone selling it out of their garage. They want Oh, the I cash. thought it was out of Michael's. No, uh, no, no, no. Oh, no, you, you got I got a, I got a lot. You can't find shit like I that. Bought, and, I bought yeah. a whole collection because I realized I was gonna be spending so much money on each individual piece and someone was selling uh, their entire collection. A thousand dollars? I know, but That's it paid rent. but hey, <laughs> this guy Joe, probably had it on sale for fucking three years. He was like, Thank God someone's gonna fucking another sucker. <laughs> she was kind of she was trying to hustle me though. Like oh, yeah? so, uh, it, the thing is, I showed up and I thought all of them would be packaged and ready to go. No, it was in their hot ass garage, and I had to sit there and watch. And they were all in package, and she had to show me each single one to show that they worked, oh. which I'm thankful for. But yeah. I, I mean, that makes sense. They're expensive, right? But Joe gave me a thousand dollars to snort like a line of hot Cheetos on his podcast, so it kind of <laughs> oh, paid whoa, for I didn't itself. know where we we're going with that. <laughs> so I'm justifying spending the money. Um, were they were, were they the Lemax Lemax brand? 
Yes, Zane. Look at Zane. Well, the boxes are all over the fucking house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's something that I, I, I see every day. have been there for a fucking year. <laughs> you haven't moved it. Okay, but yes, Lee Max, Department 56. They're the creme de la creme of uh, luxury, <laughs> tiny village. Uh, <laughs> skip 15 seconds. Yeah. Skip 15 seconds. Skip to 1524. <laughs> no, 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 it's funny how we're all like, imagine somebody just like, w like start watching the box. Like, let's go to 15 minutes. And then we're talking about <laughs> just villages. And I already spent that much money on it. And I'm still buying other ones because I'm not satisfied satisfied with what I have. Are you trying to make it as big as the Christmas village like one? Is there a Hocus Pocus house? I, well, you know what? There isn't, but I wish I could get a Hocus Pocus house. But right now I'm focusing on like trick-or-treater houses. Because right now everything I have is like Dracula's oh, house. Fun. Where the witches are, the ghosts live. But I want houses that look like they're in the neighborhood decorated for the fall. Oh, that's Got actually it. cute. Oh, that, Thank yeah, you, Mariah. You know what? That's a little cute. Now, now what's the square footage we're talking for this collection? Nine feet by nine like feet nine feet by nine feet by two feet is the area I, I kind of have. That's big. Nine feet? Yeah. I'm going to have to call my financial advisor to see if we could <laughs> do something with a rant. Um, <laughs> he pisses you off one day, Zane's up at the fucking house, just <laughs> flicks it off and just like slides oh them my, all off the oh edge. Oh my God. Do you, uh, do you, did you uh, notice that uh, something on your Christmas village was missing at all? No, I packaged it all up. Did you break something? Okay, no. We could continue the conversation. Zane, time. what happened? <laughs> he had a party and they gave him goodie bags. You, uh, you get a house. You did, get a wait, house. Did something? Did something break? Or did you? Uh, his stomach just dropped. Okay, so there's gonna be there's gonna be another uh, battle between two podcasts. So uh, Jeff was over and he was oh, um, he was making a joke and he like pushed one of the the pieces over, but it ended up falling and it broke. <laughs> it was your it was your horse one. It was like a carriage, horse Ooh. carriage. Oh. One. And it broke, and we're like, oh my God, what the fuck are we gonna do? He's gonna lose his shit when he finds out that this piece is broke. His so horse we literally, shit. so he just took it and like, and and we just put it under the rug, you know? Just the horse carriage, the one with like the horses and the carriage. That's his I'm actually one. kinda okay with that because it was one of my least <laughs> favorite parts. It was kind of, I bet it was worth something. It was Jeff, you're worth lucky. 50 Jeff, bucks. you're lucky. You're lucky. You're lucky that he doesn't care. It broke. Yeah, rattle him up. A That's bit. where it went. I thought I took it off. Huh? I bet oh. Jeff has it though. He probably. He's. I think he's waiting for you to super get glued it. it back together. It's on his podcast shelf, yep. waiting for oh, you, you to notice. He probably does have it up there somewhere, waiting for you to come on the podcast. In other news, this is very exciting for me and Matt, but we just got our keys for our new house today. <laughs> new this home. This happens once a year. <laughs> and if you guys, yes, if you're thinking, if you're thinking that I still have the other house, I do still have the other house. I have to now sell it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So until it's sold, I'm paying for two houses. It's very expensive. <laughs> I didn't think that one out very thoroughly. Yeah, but people usually move out of <laughs> yeah. one and into another. Yeah, maybe you really should stupid. go on impulsive. Yeah, yeah, maybe <laughs> I should. But um, yeah, we're we're selling the house now, and we we got a rental for the year because we're gonna wait. And I really like the house. It's very cool. Very like domestic, but it's very safe. family. It's like family style home. Huh? Yeah, it's yeah. like you you walk in, you have the staircase on the right. You got the. L family room, dining dining room. Him trying Same to think of other a things. House. <laughs> it's got a kitchen. There's a living room. Walk-in pantry. Oh, that's nice. They have a drawer that, like, literally, you put it in hot stuff and it keeps it warm. Like the the, the hot sick. drawer. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that existed here until I saw that. I was like, oh shit, we're here. we're in a fancy. <laughs> That's all We're right. in a fancy house. I'm just worried about Todd getting him out of the house. Yeah, I know. He Todd has a lot of stuff. Yeah, he comes back. Is like, Todd a hoarder? A bit. A little bit. Yeah. He, he's definitely not a hider. Like he doesn't like hide his stuff if he has it. He keeps it out on his dressers right. and everywhere. Yeah. So there's not a home for anything. It's just kind of yeah. He likes to just keep a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. he does. Yeah, I guess yeah. You could say it's a hoarder. But the thing is, he will not. The day the movers will show up to the front door, I bet you nothing is in boxes. <laughs> but he has he has Danielle now, so I think a lot of that shit is going to be prepared by the time he comes back. Which Maybe is nice. I'll believe it when I see it. But yeah, no, it's going to be a lot of boxes of, with just a ton of just random shit in each one which is awful like when you like get to the new house you open and you're like oh fuck there's all that's this why i've been getting rid of find. as much stuff as i can me too no, i've been I, selling been stuff on ebay thing. i love ebay oh yeah. man i haven't bought on ebay in so long oh dude. i used to be addicted when i was younger people don't really use it ebay anymore right yeah the it's idea like of thing. bidding it depends on the item of what it is i but, got like the stuff i've been selling i just make it buy it now i got really annoyed because you could like set up like an auto bid so like say you wanted uh this candle yeah and it was like a hundred bucks 
and you wanted to bet like a hundred and five dollars like at the last second if you bid 105 they could have a thing set up to where their max bid would be 150 so no matter what it would instantly outbid you yeah oh i mean that that's I know, not bad. I, I, I know, like but it good. was just like I would get so excited as a kid, and I would like go oh. and bid like last second. I'd be like, "I'm gonna get it," and then it'd be like, "You got out bid," and I was like, "Shit!" Where are you getting your money from? Yeah, I'm surprised <laughs> eBay has that option. It was my mom's money. What were you? <laughs> what were you bidding on? Well, paintball gear, paintball, oh my gear. Oh. paintball guns, <laughs> like pods, packs, dude. It was the whole nine. I was always trying to get a Sega Dreamcast Ooh. on oh eBay. Oh my god, those were the Because it had Sonic. It had yeah. Sonic on it. And you couldn't play Sonic on any other thing. You played Sonic on PS2. You couldn't play it on Nintendo. Can you buy something like that with games now? Like It's today? on Nintendo Switch. Now. You can play Sonic on your phone now, I bet. I know, but it'd be fun to have the Dreamcast again and just play yeah, from your And we TV. have to sit six inches <laughs> from, or sit, like less than six feet. Those cords don't go that far. That's true. And the graphics probably look Ooh. much shittier than we remember it too. Yeah. I'm surprised you just like went on a site like that. Like if you re were I'm all surprised these my mom trusted me on a site like that. I'm just <laughs> Yeah, were all these <laughs> items uh, all the all these stuff things you really wanted or you're just like, uh, if I if I get the bed, I I got this. Like um the paintball stuff I definitely want. I used to buy uh buy a lot of like 80s glam cl like clothes <laughs> <laughs> from uh, eBay. Yeah. Oh yeah, they probably wouldn't sell that stuff in stores. Yep. Yeah, like right? glam. So I had like uh, I had a, a black shirt with like silver glitter it said glam bands rock on it oh my <laughs> god, god. <laughs> fuck i used to, yeah i used to buy a lot of like old band t-shirts like cinderella yeah rat i heard ebay isn't like um it, like when you when you're the highest highest bidder you can like pull out last well minute. i freaked out because i bought this halloween house that i really liked <laughs> and then i realized i had bid on the same house and i was about to win and i started freaking out like how do i take away my bid and then I had to eat. You had to message the seller and be like, "Please cancel my bid because I just bought this house." Oh, weird! So, like, and then you have to message the seller. That's uh, why I like uh, OfferUp. I love OfferUp. OfferUp is great. And, Offer the, and my favorite, favorite. So Facebook yeah. Marketplace, yeah. man. No. I gotta hop on that too because I heard a lot, a lot of good things. Offer about Facebook has been Marketplace. There's just not much on lately. Facebook Marketplace. There's a lot on Facebook. Every time I go to check, it's like I think Facebook Marketplace is more like modern stuff. I think OfferUp you can find really like unique finds yeah i do like facebook market for people don't really know the value of stuff on there i feel i feel like it's craigslist like, nobody knows the value no i feel like yeah it's like craigslist you're an idiot it's right? parents <laughs> yeah. selling like old fucking like mid-century furniture they have no idea what this shit goes for like on a secondhand yeah. market yeah like, and well you're don't like, let them know <laughs> i know offer up they're pretty keen on like pricing yeah it um, makes sense mm -hmm. i just don't like the shipping thing i just want it to be all pickups I love just the show pickups. me well, that's why offer up you can choose. Like, I never pick shipping. I always pick ten mile radius, and that's it. Well, they always auto set it though, so you're constantly having to go in the filter and take it off. The oh, worst is when you drive out. Like, we've driven like thirty five miles. It's worth it. Got but there. It's fun. Got there, and it's not been like the picture. I think you and are a good like, friend though, Heath. You went with me two times. Went oh, to pick up the, the dressers. Or there was there one was that the was one, that desk that, big, that we yeah. that we thought looked really cool, and you and me both got there, and the guy already still had all this shit on top of it, and we were like, "There's no way it's we're taking it. this dresser." Yeah, you love doing that shit, it's I, what, dude. It's dude, like, car shopping and looking for shit for the house is like your two oh favorite oh, things. To furniture do. is one thing. Furniture I, is so fun, and to I hate how expensive it is. Yeah, but like I like I need it. It pays for itself though. Like oh sometimes. yeah, yeah. Like, and especially like if you unique. don't buy like stuff that's like cheap yeah mm -hmm. like if you buy something that's kind of like not a collector but like something that's worth money from like a certain you know yeah designer like it holds its value and goes up i a lot of stuff like the the big tanker desk that i got mm -hmm. super oh, cheap you have a tanker oh yeah you do yeah where is it it's, it's in my timeless. office oh, oh you want to hear this crazy story about my dresser when i was a child oh i we've talked about this already we, on the podcast i think no i don't think we have we never got around to sharing it i've always sure? said like i've saved my dresser story oh, okay, have i okay. said this story before i don't know, I don't know. let's let's we repeat a lot of stories uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> but Hope, I, I don't think damn, i've heard this maybe i have said this it's Just a pretty crazy story it, so for, yeah. okay. for new listeners so um yeah. when i was in high school <laughs> i was uh meeting up with my friend who went to my high school mitchell but he lived like in a whole other side of town but his like parents were Work for the school district and he was able to go to our high school yeah we're at his house we like smoke a little weed in the backyard we're chilling having a good time it's my first time over at his house and we're new friends yeah um and we go into his bedroom and immediately i look at his dresser and i'm like this looks 
just like my childhood dresser. Like I just had this moment oh, when I saw I think it. I do remember Have, this. Did I say this? No, this but I, I, I think can you tell told me where out this is going, oh. and I'm already so panicking. immediately I was like. I feel like this was my dresser when I was a kid. And then I remember specifically when I was a kid, I hated going to bed, dude. I hated it when my parents made me go to bed. And I would slap my my uh, juice cup on my counter over and over and over just to piss off my parents. And I would leave these marks of where I would bang the cup so hard. My heart and is I racing. Walk, and I'm high when this happened. <laughs> and I'm like, and I go over to and the you're corner. Looking for the cup no, marks. No, all no. of the marks of my juice cup are all on the corner of his fucking of his dresser. Nuts. I would have fucking freaked. Are you kidding me? So so uh, immediately I'm like, how is this dresser from my childhood in his room? This is bizarre. So I so his dad is like the music minister for this church, this Baptist church uh -huh. in our town, and I call up my mom and I go. Mom, do you remember my dresser I had uh, upstairs in our room at our old house? She goes, yeah, of course I do. I go, what did we do with that dresser? Whatever happened to it? She goes, we donated it to the Baptist church oh for my furniture God. drive. <laughs> And I'm like, holy shit, Mitchell has it. And my mom's like, there's no way. There is no way. I take a picture of it and everything, and I show my juice, mu uh, juice mark uh, <laughs> marks, my juice cup marks. And it was my damn dresser. Wow. I got really excited with it probably from I was six years old is when I said goodbye to it and then ran into it when I was like 16, 10 years. Wow. That's, better, that's better than that's Big Red. Amazing. What, do you, like, you don't have any pictures of this dresser no. at all, right? Man, they're probably nice like an Android it. memory card or any like wow. something like that. But the odds of it, out of it could have gone to any home and it ended up becoming one of my closest friends who lived that's on like crazy. in Farmer's Branch, like in the whole other different side of town. That's like a dream of mine. Like I, <laughs> I, it sounds crazy, but when I went to Heath's grandparents' house, do you remember in yeah. Florida? I went recently for the first time, and they had this recliner, and I'm looking at the, it's not like your story. I was hoping it would turn out like that, but I'm looking at the recliner, and I instantly like FaceTimed and sent my, my family like pictures and stuff. I said, this is the recliner from our house on Staten Island, and they were like trying, they were like, get closer pictures, but I'm like, how would it get to Florida, and how, it literally is identical to the one that we had but i think the only difference was like the magazine pocket was like i think theirs is on the side and ours was on the back or something like that but it was the same color same style because i remember like the, the these had like sleeves that like would, the, like, go the, over it. yeah like the arm things had <clears throat> sleeves that went over it and it was just like and it's wild with, i just like, remember i just sat remember the in it presence of it yes like i had never thought of that my dresser and just the moment i saw it i'm like I know this. This is like oh, man, my, you like, are just. It's hard seeing people live your. I can't dream, imagine you know? that feeling of like walking up to it and be like, "This looks just like it," and then being like, "The the sippy cup marks." Yes, yes. And, like, and then That's looking for it and then seeing movie like it. scene. Oh, like especially like, when you're like highest, like highest. Yes, shit. Like, That's why my heart was like pounding because I thought I was be like on like. I was oh, and too you were high. high. Like I thought I was <laughs> imagining it. Oh, yeah. Hallucinating. Damn. Man, Matt. I you should have bought it. Man, uh, it's it's an old school '90s like wooden dresser. I wouldn't want that. Mm, I, I think you. even he got rid of it too because I followed. I think I followed up with him like, "What'd you do with the dresser?" They're like, oh, they got rid of that. If you saw it, you'll again, come would across you buy it again. Why? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a sign. I don't know. If you have a wooden dresser in your home He's from the 90s Texas. and there's Somebody's going to From it. Texas. <laughs> yeah, maybe from Texas. Maybe from the First Baptist Church in Carrollton. Sorry. Did you ever win a contest? <laughs> Never. Like one Never, of sweepstakes. Like, like you had. Oh. Like from gold. a cereal no. box, you win a trip to Hollywood. and no. you get the, Like some shit like that. I mean, they definitely have those contests and I feel like they are very true. Like people, somebody actually wins every time. You it's think just, so? Where you get to like yeah. go to like the Nickelodeon like slime thing or whatever. Yeah, I really think those are like 100% real. It's just we never see the winners. Cause yeah. they don't like promote it. Now they do. I feel like now social media, now they, re now they show you like winners. But like back then, where would they show the winners? On TV, I don't think I ever won anything. Or did mm -hmm. you ever like call into a radio and win? No. Oh. Like it's five thousand dollar Monday. We're giving away five thousand dollars cash if you're the so first caller. What does that? What does that mean? <clears throat> the first caller. Obviously, it means the first caller. Yeah. But like, is someone seriously by phone and goes and they just answer it? Yeah. And they go, "You're it," or you're like the ninth I, caller. Oh, I think my sister did maybe once. I think she got Shawn Mendes tickets from iHeartRadio or something. She was just like, I didn't expect like to actually get it. She just called and they were like, oh, pick up your tickets. And I had to drive all the way to like Philly to get the tickets. And I was like, what do you like? How do you know this is legit? And she was like, can you just please go pick them up? And it was real. I walked into iHeartRadio and they just gave me the tickets. 
I was like, I could be anybody. I wasn't even like my sister. <laughs> Damn. You have to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> For Shawn Mendes. Now that I'm thinking about like the, like, you know how you win free tickets. Maybe it was just like a way to like now thinking back, like, oh, they're just doing it to promote the show. Like may, again, it costed just like free tickets just to like get that out right. there. You know did what I mean? You, did you used to be able to buy concert tickets at like your Kroger <clears throat> or your Albertsons, your grocery store? I don't know. We used to I be able to I'm buy concert, concert tickets there at the grocery store. Like from, from what section of the grocery Where store? Where you used to cash checks. You know when you walk into yes, the grocery I, store, there's yes. that other kind of like stand yes. that you can like cash checks and I buy guess that cigarettes makes sense maybe. Because like, Ticketmaster was like, With like the really... coin counter. It was all is the same thing. Like, oh yeah. my God, that's my favorite thing. The coin Sorry. counter? Yes, the coin star. It's amazing how that works. I love <laughs> Coin star. I have so many. Coins. We would go there with buckets of coins because <laughs> you like just it, and you would just like pour it in, like, chuk, 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 and you like would watch like the price go up, and you just like see how much you can get out of these fucking pennies and like nickels. And you realize how many Chuck E. Cheese tokens you still yeah. have. <laughs> I, it, I had don't... like Grand Prix. It was like, uh, oh, yeah. Like a, you remember Kabooms? Yeah. It used to be like Grand Prix, and they would have these like coins that were the same as like a quarter, but they were gold. And we'd have those in there. Uh, but yeah, we would have like six hundred bucks in coins. But they took, and then they, they like, take like they a, took like, like fifty dollars or something. Yeah. Piggy, bank, piggy <laughs> banks were awesome. Like they really made you feel like you were like just making making money in the end. Like you like you're doing doing the hard work, putting all the coins in, and when you get to the top, you get a reward. Do you ever have like any crazy types of piggy banks? Like one of my friends had a toilet piggy Lionel bank. Lionel Coin Bank. Lionel <laughs> Coin Bank. Oh, yeah. Save your money. Save, Save your, your money. money. What an awful that is in. Like Awful bedded too. in my brain. Why is it a pig with piggy banks? I know, right? It kind of rolls off the tongue. Piggy bank. Piggy bank. Piggy bank. Yeah, are, I wonder they, where they, the origin. Pigs like to eat, or what the origin? They had to just decide on an animal, and they just decided on a pig. Cow bank. Mm. Uh, no, it wouldn't work. Like a giraffe, that would be kind of cool. Like it goes down the down whole the neck. Yeah. The neck. <gasps> I'm sure they have one too. But piggy, like where? Hmm. Did you ever smash your piggy bank? I never had like I an never had a piggy, piggy bank piggy where you broke. Oh no, I didn't. I've had one when I was born. One. It's the day I was born. It's painted on there and it has like baseballs and like yes, basketballls. Yes. We just use like like jars. I would use. Remember those like fish, those little fish tanks we used to have, but they were like plastic, and you'd have like a, like one little tiny fish or a turtle. The in little there. beta beta fighting fish. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like those like plastic. Tanks. Yeah, I had I had the little plastic one that had SpongeBob. It would have like the little like <laughs> characters in yeah, it. Yeah, oh, we just cool. throw our money in there. Beta fish. I always wanted to put two together. I'm just gonna say it. If you put two male betas, they fight till the death. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Females though were always really expensive though. You couldn't find a female. They were all males. Oh, they were beautiful. And then you would ever put up a mirror up to a beta fish and like its fins would like <laughs> flare out. Yeah, no. yeah. Or it's like its gulls it's are, just like ready so it's to freaking fight. out. Yeah. You ever know. seen a, a, a beta fish in the wild? I feel like that's something that's I heard like, they're like in just puddles on the side of the street in Africa. My dad really? used to say that. I don't know if that's How does true. that even fucking happen? It makes no sense. Piss. How does that fucking happen? Like in a Anybody puddle, like know? on the side of the street, just a puddle, and there's like high tides. High tides. But tide, where? But where are you talking about? high, in... and then it goes into the areas, and then it gets like low that, tide, right? and it gets trapped in a ditch. <laughs> I thought you were talking about like the side of like the roads. Yes, <laughs> like you know ditches in Florida. You ever seen the, the, you ever the, seen the fish swimming across the street? Yeah, that's interesting. It's the craziest thing in the like world. That. What do you mean? They'll like be like the stream that like goes across. The it'll street be like a tiny little bit of like a flood, and it's like literally this much water, and you see the fish swimming across it. Oh, I never. I seen think that. it's like salmon, and they're like just fighting like salmon. Does... It's the weirdest thing in the world. <laughs> so you're trying to rush they they try to like cross the street at like a certain like high tide or something. Yeah, and, and it's they like flop across. Oh my! God. I gotta find. Pull this. it up. Look at that. What? What? Isn't that like bananas? Oh! And look at him! Look at him go! Look at him go! Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor for this episode, Noom. So we all struggle when it comes to losing weight, um, especially when you're trying to live up to people's expectations, and it can cause a lot of stress. But the best feeling is finding something that works for you specifically and not what works for everybody else because everybody is completely different. You know, you got people telling you to go to the gym every day to lose weight or you got to, you know, get on a strict diet if you want to start feeling better. Well, you don't have to live the way those people live. What's great about Noom is that it's psychology based and it's going to give you a healthier way to reach your goals and in turn, it's going to be 
even more sustainable than following some crash diet. Noom is great for me because I have such a huge sweet tooth. Like I have to eat sweets throughout the whole day. I wake up and I immediately have to grab like a peanut butter cup and eat it. Like I haven't even drank water yet. Like I haven't <laughs> eaten breakfast. I just, I take it and I just pop it in my mouth and I'm just like, that's that, that it's bad that like I'm just addicted to cravings and this app just allows you to That's just all right. it's like <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Heath, for understanding. But baby, it's a work in progress, and that's why we have Noom. Exactly. So Noom has like taught me like healthy ways to uh, help me steer away, steer away from that peanut butter cup in the morning. And it's like helped a lot, actually. And you don't need a rule book, a play-by-play -play of what not to do. You just need the knowledge and wisdom to build better, smarter, sustainable habits and unlearn the bad ones. So when you first sign up for Noom, it's going to ask for, you know, your age your name your weight your goals and then they're going to take all the information and come up with a weight loss program that caters to you what's crazy is 80 percent of the users that signed up actually finished their program and 60 percent actually lost five percent of their body weight man that's insane and no food is totally off limits so you can keep eating what you love but just maintaining a better health balance with everything. It just takes 10 minutes a day to learn about your eating habits and to check in on your progress on Noom. Start building better habits for healthier long-term results. Sign up for your trial at noom.com slash unfiltered. That's n-o-o-m.com slash unfiltered to sign up for your trial today. Thank you, Noom. We really appreciate it and our bodies appreciate it. No more peanut butter cup. <laughs> Talk about ironing. Recently got into ironing. Really into it. 28 years I'm old. I've given up on ironing. I, I tried ironing yesterday. I can't I, fucking do it. I never used to do it. I hated it. And I just, I, I'm ironing everything now. T-shirts, dress shirts, pants, ironing the towels. Put it in the dryer. What? Well, I think 2021. It, did, it didn't work. It didn't work yesterday when so I did it. So you used fibulas. Uh, but, but the thing is that, have you ever had a shirt that was so fucking wrinkled that not even uh, iron would, would uh, strain it out? Like what? what? <laughs> no. No, it, Heath, it was fucking insane. You got to use the steamer setting. This wasn't like a steamer iron though. This looked like a hair iron. It was, it was, like, a, it was like a straightener. Like the, the shape of it was like a straightener. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's not a real iron. It was really hot though. I feel. I thought you just needed like a you lot of wet, fucking heat. You gotta to wet it up, up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Oh, dude. Or you gotta put in like a wet rag with a uh, whatever you're trying to de wrinkle yeah. into a dryer. I haven't worn I, like... the shirt I wore yesterday. I haven't worn it in like a year. It was like folded up for a year. I think oh well, wrinkled... that's why. <laughs> I think the reason I'm so into it is because like I grew up and like it was always like if you had like a wrinkled shirt, it'd be like toss it in the dryer and then you're shaking it out and then you put it on and then you're like doing this trying to like. I used to or iron hang my it up stuff in the, before uh... school every day. Really? I was so paranoid about people making fun of me because my shirt was wrinkled. Now it's like wrinkled shirts. Who gives a yeah. shit? Do you think Timothy Chalamet's walking but around But people with didn't care back then shirt? about wrinkled I just, I just feel like it's like, I don't know. But you're on the debate team, so yeah, you probably have to look pretty also, polished. It feels good wearing like a warm shirt after you yeah, iron. Yeah, putting it on right after yeah. is the best. Makes you feel good. Pleasures of life. Heard OnlyFans um, oh. banned P, -p, -p word. <laughs> P. Pornography. <laughs> P. Banned P.O. Banned it? They banned it. They banned it. They, well, they like, banned you can't... explicit videos no they banned they banned porn I, i'm trying not to say, it, say it too many times still pose, but you can still pose nude right I, yeah. yeah you could pose nude but like the type of nude that you're posing has to be like i think like erotic but not pornographic not Explicit. No, not erotic not even erotic like i looked up remember we were talking about it and i looked i looked up the definition and the definition is um so a playboy magazine is that pornography or is that just erotic imagery because or, like I, in Playboy, they they ain't they ain't spreading. Like once it becomes like this, right. and you've like opened up the curtain. <laughs> Jesus, the curtain. Sorry, no, oh no. But once it's like this, and you're like revealing the whole stage. Yeah. Then that's like, okay, we're crossing the line. Something where like people can get off to, I think, is not allowed. What a weird, what? yeah. What a weird boundary of like weird, yeah. What's gonna be so okay? So here's here's a definition of it: printed or visual material containing the explicit description or display of sexual organs or activity intended to stimulate erotic rather than aesthetic or emotional feelings. Now, are boobs sexual organs? I think they're sexualized organs. Yes, but I don't we think sexualize they are. I don't them, think they're but sexual. they're not. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, think well, think about it. Like think about like men and women. We both have boobs. Is just they have big ones and we have small ones. So I think they like they can get away with that. Right. It's not. So now all of these people who have been working for OnlyFans now have to pivot and rebrand. Yeah, because a lot there's a lot of people that work in the adult industry no. that that um have moved <clears throat> from porn to OnlyFans because they make like a ton of money. Especially on during the pandemic, and that's like, and a that's lot like of people that's how they had to make money. Yeah. But the reason why they're doing it is not off like a moral code of conduct. I'm pretty sure it's a credit card issue thing. Credit like, card? Like, why? 
because that's how you're having to pay for the content and a lot of the investors and the ties with the banks. Sorry if I don't know the complete specifics, but the banking companies and the credit card companies don't want their transactions to be tied to this type of content. And also it exposes them to like a lot of opportunities to get hacked. Um, security breaches, all of that. But, but why? But why can you do it? Like, if you have a subscription on, like, no, but on a certain but why site? if you show a boob or like something more, like the credit card is okay? Good question, Heath. Good it question. Because it doesn't so, really, it doesn't really say when you buy it that like you're, you're no. It's just an only. It's just a well, subscription to an OnlyFans page. That's what the banks. Mariah, what the banks show like that. I like have the statements. No idea. <laughs> quit, quit. How, wait, I'm curious about I'm OnlyFans. To it's, because, along. Well, Mar it's a secret. Mariah Mariah's actually about to launch her OnlyFans. Which is exciting. <laughs> her own, her only, her only dance. <laughs> He's on fire with these. <laughs> oh, you know what pissed me off? As soon as you said only pans in the last episode, I went on TikTok. There was a TikTok called only pans. Literally oh, right serious? after you left. They stole the joke? Or wait, no. No, no. It, no, it was just a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. Like, stole we the thought joke. that was so funny. I saw it too. Only pans on TikTok. Someone or I think they, they do cook, right? Yeah. It's like yeah. a cooking. That's really Damn. Down. You're Damn. on my path. <laughs> um, uh, there's a few people on your path. Pretty cool. <laughs> but okay, but OnlyFans is not an app, right? It's a website. Yes. Right? And correct. you pay for the subscription. Do you get an email notification or do you have to log into your browser know, Matt, to check? You? I don't know. Uh, well, uh, that's why I'm asking <laughs> because I, I would never do it because I'd be so worried that that would just be showing up in my emails. Yes, like, and then no, you're like, definitely... hey, let's link up the HDMI cable. Let's show your presentation. <laughs> you see, new, <laughs> new alert. <Yeah>. You see. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of going, uh, a lot of teachers are going to be exposed. Don't so wait, online. check oh, it no. out now. Yeah, this is going to be the new thing where they're going to be fucking caught for. I'm so oh, curious. Having no. a students so. only imagine a teacher is subscribed to a students only fans page. If you are 16 years old in a, high school, you could be a student in college. I meant, I meant like college. I think it's so funny. Like there are people who are on OnlyFans and are these like you know um, pornographic creators who like, but they don't show their face. But then they have like a bunch of tattoos that are pretty identifiable. So that's true. like you couldn't be like watching that and be like, that's right. Elizabeth. <laughs> she has a rose like uh, arm tattoo all down her arm. That's her. Yeah. Like don't I bet some You're of these people pages where they don't show their face. Like, yeah. There, I, yes. There's like a bunch of creators that are like just anonymous. I'm pretty sure on OnlyFans yeah. that don't show their face or blur it out and stuff. But they have the most identifiable tattoos. So they're obviously hiding themselves from their per people in their personal life. But I'm pretty sure some of those people might be like, "That's Elizabeth." There's a few people that are. I, I don't want to. I don't want to like obviously mention names, but like there's a few people that are like just getting out of school. They don't have like a. They're not on the internet. They're not like they don't have like a following or whatever. But they want to like start an OnlyFans and um, and I just wonder how do people that like don't have a following that want to make an OnlyFans how do they grow? Is it just like, because uh, there's no popular page, there's no explore page on OnlyFans. You literally, it's word of mouth. Like oh, when really? you know, it's because somebody will you post just, your like, picture on Twitter. Yeah. Someone will post your picture or, uh, on Twitter hmm. or Reddit and everyone's going to be like, who is this? And then they'll link it to Oh, it. so that's how, the, that's how pretty yes. much how, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> was, this, was this the other podcast we were talking about? You get one subscriber, but they share everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, Zane was like talking about if he did it, like how far would you go? What would it be? And then the moment you shared it, I'm like, the thing is, someone's just gonna put it out every everywhere. <laughs> and you've made like 20 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of your life just 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 depression. I think yeah. it's just so funny. Like this is not fair. <laughs> I need yeah, to show that, my talent. <laughs> deserve to get paid. They're slamming their juice boxes. Imagine, yeah. imagine being the the people people that are subscribed getting worked up oh like, yeah uh, right god damn it Thanks. are all these creators gonna have like their last hoorah <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know their final going out with a bang show like <laughs> do they have to like this is it boys like let's crank it up it's like this the confetti last like last time you're seeing the <laughs> 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 uh, uh, shit has Corinna made any comments about it um, she's made a, a couple of tweets about it. But and she's been like, this is ridiculous. I think I think she's made enough where I think she'll be okay. She had a good if, run. If there's, if there's any, any changes. Like, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> imagine imagine it. making that much money, going all out, buying a house, expecting this money to keep going. Mm -hmm. Then they hit you with that. And you're just like, yeah. fuck. 
Like, like what do you fine energy? <laughs> yep. I, Corinna, Corinna's though. Corinna though, she's completely safe with what she posts. I, oh I right, because she's not. I, I think. <laughs> What is she posting? <laughs> uh, one of her first subscribers. I've over seen here. her tits. The vacuum cleaner guy. Actually, I have seen her tits. I, 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 took, all... I took one picture for her. She asked me, she goes, can you, I don't know if we should put this in. She goes, can you take a picture of my boobs? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I thought it was just because she was wearing like this like cute top. And I thought she just wanted a picture. Of, I don't know what she yeah. wanted it for. I didn't put two and two together. And she, she <laughs> walks me to a corner. Whoa! <laughs> Takes her shirt off. And I'm like. All right. <laughs> like, oh no, she, she wouldn't care. That's funny. No, this was like a few weeks ago. Oh, so like That's one of her so pictures funny. out there is like it's like photo I took, yeah, 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 yeah. No, she, you see in the mirror, there's like a reflection. <laughs> on the window. You see Mariah like. No, she, no the, the other day at Davis, we're all there, and she was like, "Hey, Zane, can you take a quick uh, uh, photo for my OnlyFans?" I was like, "Really? You like me? me? Okay." <laughs> I like became so professional. I was like, "Yeah, yeah. What, what do you want to do? Where would you like to do it? Yeah, yeah. The lighting." Yeah, right became so professional yes, I was like yes no <laughs> no no too much too much you're trying not to look we have to wait till Todd turns a corner somewhere else so we go, all right okay good oh my god <laughs> yeah she pulled out the whole like carousel at dinner you the, remember that the carousel of the photos at dinner oh yeah we're at, at dinner we were at a family we were at a family restaurant <laughs> she was just at a Man, red this lobster is a Wendy's just... driver. <laughs> <laughs> I know this was last week but Friday the 13th we had like a weird, like the most Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th ever, right? Who, you guys? Maybe. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. strange. What happened? First of all, we wake up, it's Friday the 13th, and we're super excited. So we go to get bagel sandwiches. We walk out of our gate, and t when I go to close the gate, I turn around, and there's a white praia mantis. White. Not green, white. Like an albino like praying mantis. Like albino praying mantis. Where? Just on my gate. At the house, here. Like an actual one? What? What do you mean like a an actual mantis. one? A praying oh, oh, oh. mantis. Why did I hear, why did I, yeah, no, no, I got it confused. Why did I think it was a snake? That, like that, why did I no, think a praying mantis, mantis was a python? Like the, was, are they endangered? What is that? I don't that? know. People like are really sensitive to kill about them. them. I, there's like is something special. They're a little holy. Yeah, I you love don't. That. You don't really I, like. Yeah. They're praying. Pray, they're yeah, praying. They're, literally, they're like this. <laughs> yeah, that's all they the do. The close-up videos are like scary. Like, they're they're cool like they're, they're close cute. to human. They look like leaves. The it looks like a villain in like Power Rangers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Powerpuff they're, Girls. They're, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I was thinking saw, of the White Lotus when you. <laughs> <laughs> a praying mantis. Okay, a right? praying mantis. Yes. So we saw a white praying mantis. I was like, oh, that's so strange. And then I turned to start walking, and there's a big ass crow, like the size of. A, a German shepherd. Oh. Yeah, it was a German shepherd. <laughs> a pterodactyl eating a rat on, on the, the side sidewalk. Ooh. Oh, that's like very. And as, it's as like we're walking, it's horror. It's, like it's horror. Horror. It's horror. horror. Just like really strange it's shit. It's a movie. And we keep walking. We turn the corner, and there's um, like road, like construction signs on the corner, but they're upside down. Like. I was like, what nailed, is like, this? Like nailed into the like, pole, and it's just flipped. I took pictures of everything. Just flipped upside down. I was like, what the hell is this? And then we remembered it was Friday the 13th, and I was like, that was a weird walk. And Crazy, then we, why, right? why were you guys excited for Friday? I, I thought it was like bad luck. Like it was bad luck. It's just day. spooky. Things it's happen. fun. Yeah. It's freaky. Oh, freaky, freaky Friday. Yeah. God. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Friday thirteenth. Yeah. It's just oh, freaky. Damn. Yeah. I wish I. I didn't. I didn't know I, it was Friday thirteenth. Oh, 13th I didn't know I, until it was six thirty p.m. And like Patricia <laughs> texted me, "It's Friday the 13th. And you know me. I love like a good. <laughs> and then fun you look back holiday. and you're like, "Ooh, what weird oh, things we happened today?" I kind of wish we I like remembered like, or I knew that day was Friday thirteenth. It doesn't happen like that often where it like lands on Friday. So it's kind of like an exciting thing. It's exciting. It's spooky. But we were also like extra excited because we had like this whole Friday the 13th night planned yeah um, so there's this thing called boat cinema I and saw y'all went to this so coolest fun. thing I've ever been to in my life like you go out it's uh in it's Lake Castaic and you go down to like the beach area and there's like a bar and they they're like serving drinks snacks popcorn they have you can, merch like, they you blankets order pizza and then you get a boat and then you drive the boat out into the lake and then you like park it in like is a it little easy like, to operate the boat? It's like yeah, a golf cart. It. Any, oh, okay. They, they so let anybody simple. do it. There's people crashing into each other, but they're like, all right, whatever. Oh my, we got fucking... We, <laughs> we were sitting next to this boat, and all of a sudden we hear, 
watch out, coming in, can't stop. And they just plowed the boat in front. And I'm like, oh my God. They let like, anybody drive it though. They're just like, okay, you're going to drive here. Drive Like Heath is good with Are boats, they kind of like just bumper boats type shit? Where you can no, just, they're like, like real miniature motor boats. That's what they call yeah. them, right? Yeah, cute looking. I God. saw it in the pictures. Um, but you like pull it out and there's like slots for it. And you like, tie, oh, there's like slots. you, you, you don't hook them up to a buoy okay. that is already anchored. And then you're like in a row and then they have this giant projector on the beach and they play movies like Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And what movie? Y'all watch Friday? And we watch Friday, Friday the 13th. Friday Which Thursday? one? Part four. The, Good. Yeah. Because well, it was awful. They're, like old horror movies are the worst. Really it bad. was horrible, but it's so fun. Like I love watching them. They're just so fun and stupid and silly. Yeah. I, think in like, the, I think in that like a setting too, I'm sure just it was they just like a fun They had somebody at the end, right before the credits came up, they had a guy dressed as Freddy. Oh. And he ran across the water and it was Freddy. insane. Jason. It was Jason. Jason, 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 Jason. I keep mixing that Damn, up. Damn, that's really, that's really. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I keep thinking like, Freddy versus you Jason. You show up to a Friday the 13th and dress up. <laughs> it's Michael Myers. <laughs> Wrong, I thought it was Freddy the Thirteenth. <laughs> I'm a big fan of scary movies, right, Zane? <laughs> but you know, I want to play Friday the Thirteenth, the video game, because you get to play oh, as the yeah. campers, or you get to play as, as Jason, Jason. Oh, wow, and it's at cool. camp. You've so never you seen the to, video. It looks it, like it looks cool. so that so we good. We could all team cool. up and be like campers running around, or one of us can be Jason, like going yeah. out after us. That's it looks fun, pretty man. cool. cool. Yeah. Can you play that on like a VR headset? <gasps> Uh, no, I know it's on Nintendo Switch now. I'm like it's check. on Steam, it's on everything. Oh, I think cool! Now. That'd be fun to play like, live, where people can watch us play that. That'd, oh, that'd yeah. be so fun. Who's your like your uh, your spooky movie character that you're really terrified of? Like, are you oh. terrified of Jason? Are you terrified of Michael Myers? Genuinely, nobody. Freddy. Um, Michael Myers is my favorite. I think Michael Myers. It, it's because it's like the closest thing to real. That you she know what? Like okay, it's a real. No, hold on. <laughs> no, but no. I do. I do. Like, He's uh... not wrong. I took every time. Every time my cousin, like one of my cousins, comes to visit, we're huge hollow, a uh, huge Halloween family, like Halloween the movie. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I have to take her to Pasadena to see Michael Myers' house. Every time I go there, I'm like sitting there, like I have to tell myself this wasn't real. Get over it. She's yeah. telling everybody, like, so this, this is, is this where is he where lived. He it was real. What it, do you mean? You're right, though. It feels the most real because he's a serial killer. Like, it, I don't like, know. I'm it just surprised, seems so realistic. I'm surprised there wasn't somebody like crazy that's that, tried to pose pose as him and like kill a bunch of well, people. Well, there's a guy I, around Halloween in Pasadena who will dress up like Michael Myers and take pictures with people, but we were thinking like that could easily he can easily just like like you think it's like really a bit like oh my part. god, let's go take a picture and he like is actually killing people and they're like, wow, this so Halloween realistic. show is amazing. <laughs> I'm surprised. And there's nothing more terrifying than dying on Halloween because you can be bleeding, you can be screaming mm -hmm. and everyone's like, haha, great costume. Yeah. No, I really need help. I'm surprised. Whoa, this character is good. G great yes. night, great like, night. Like that's to happened before, but like Halloween is like Michael oh. Myers is specific. He comes out for Halloween yeah. and it's like, I just, I really have to remind myself this wasn't a real serial. Yeah, serial like Freddy is just so fake. It's just like yeah, everything like, about it is just like, okay, yeah. I got it. Even Jason, Jason is they're, like very Yeah, they're very, very fake unrealistic. I, but like Freddy though, the idea of not falling asleep because he gets you in your dreams. That's See, what's scary. Mm -hmm. Nah. Nah. Uh, nah. I like Saw. Saw terrifies me. You're seeing that little oh, puppet. Like being in a I room, you wake that. up and you look over and you see a TV saying, Do you want to play a game? Uh, I'm out. G good prank. That is. That's what I take. That's that scares me the most. For some reason, I don't get like scared from scary movies. I know movies. nothing like, they don't, scares like, me. I mean, when I was a kid, like Leprechaun, like fucked me yeah. up. But like with Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> yeah, it Not, was like, like now it does. I don't think now. But anything. I watched it when I, like I was alone <laughs> yeah, and I was like kid. seven years old and I was like freaking out. I remember but, like, watching I, Poltergeist and I loved it. Oh, I, I wasn't love scared, Poltergeist. But I know that it was creepy. But I love. I was obsessed with it. Yeah, the only thing that actually like fucks me up is like playing scary video games. Like Nazi zombies, my oh, brother, I like I like <laughs> everything inside me wants to just like implode. Like I just video like, games. I freak out yeah. and I get coming. like they keep coming and like, they keep coming. Oh, there's no it good. It messes me like, up. Nothing makes me. But jump. I love it. Like there hasn't been a good scary movie that there's been. Have you movies. watched like Hereditary? Yeah, well, I hated it. it all. I didn't like it. Scared? <clears throat> no, no, not scared, but just like a, just a good. It's a good scary movie. Yeah, I feel like they haven't made any new. That's why I keep watching old ones because I like 
I don't know. They just Are you talking about like you want to see a good slasher? No, There's a it difference doesn't between have to slasher be gory. And, no, it doesn't have to be gory. No, no, slasher want... as in like like Scream, Halloween, oh. Friday the 13th. Those are like slasher movies where literally the whole point is just there's no, a murder and they're killing people. it doesn't have to be like gory, like killing people. I just want to be on the edge of my seat. Ins yeah. Insidious though. That have you seen crazy. Insidious? I've heard that that's one's a bump, really. That's yeah, like a bump I, in the night movie where it will make you like reconsider. Like if you're trying to go to sleep and you start thinking of that movie. The con Ooh. like when you're watching The Conjuring, like there's no scenes where it just makes you jump when you watch it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's I think they're all predictable, but they're very good. Like I love paranormal they're fun activity. To watch. Yes, they're so fun to watch, but I don't really jump. What makes me scared are documentaries about yes. real oh, murder. That, yeah. shit. that, that shit. I will not I at night I get so freaked out. To this I'm like day, I because it's sleep. real. I think yeah. that's like Yes, it's real. And they're in the neighborhood. Like it's like it's very realistic i've seen so many murder documentaries like in la so like many. la base i'm just like Fuck i know my life go online and look up sexual predators in your neighborhood no that oh I did that that's crazy we, that i did it fuck you up dots everywhere all over the neighborhood yeah it's we, so i did it scary. before i moved to la oh yeah scary i like Real it scary. i like looking it up more in my like childhood town more than oh. I like it out here. Out Give here, it's that. LA. Of course, there's don't they be put like crazy. Na don't they attach names to? Yeah, they show the name and then like you and then what to. they did. So if you were living on a street and someone moved in and said, "Hey, I'm a sex offender, um, and I'm living near you," how would you handle it? Oh, I have no idea. I don't know. I would. I, I mean, I would completely go. Oh, okay, no, no worries. Nice to meet would you. I, I, would, I would. I would. I would just like. I would want to know. You'd have to know, but then. You you're, you're not gonna to... ask. You're, you'd ask right on the spot. But you're, so what'd you do? You, what'd you do? Pervert. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, my best friend who lived across the street was a girl. She was walking down the sidewalk Ooh. in our neighborhood with her other friend who was a girl, and a guy pulled up in a car and said, "Hey, do you girls know how to where how, how I can drive to like this place? Like, well, where's Walmart or whatever?" And got the girls to come close up to the car, and then he was just masturbating in the car. Oh my god! And they were like, fifth, fifth grade. Sorry, is that too? No, rough I'm to just talk like about. No, it's, no, no. It's, it's just oh, no. It's it, it's crazy that people oh, are actually. And we knew like the that. car, and then all of our dads went and drove around all the surrounding neighborhoods trying to find that car to see if that dude lived nearby. That freaks That's us out. That's fucking awful. Yeah. I've been seeing TikToks for the past like few days where girls were showing like screenshots of their phones of messages that they were getting from random people saying, uh, hey, um, I don't know if you remember, remember me, but like we went on a Tinder date and it was such a long time ago, but like wondering if you wanted to meet up or whatever, whatever. And they'll be like, no, I don't know who you're talking about. And then they'll post uh, a picture like they, it, it obviously it was a like guys, but they'll post a picture of a girl, random girl like this is me. I don't know if you remember me. And th right. then it would just be like, OK, and then they're they're getting the same uh, messages from people that, with the same picture of the same girl on all these different people's phones. And I just got, did that make sense? Do Wait, I like have a to repeat guy that? is messaging girls and then will send a picture of it's, this girl so, like, to them? I think it was like... Or are I they saying was, this is me? Yeah, like... I, I guess a girl is going to say to a guy, we went on a Tinder date. Do you remember our date, whatever? Here's a picture of me. It's a girl. This is what I look like. Do you remember going on a date with me? Oh. We're sending it to guys. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And so I think it's like linked to like sex trafficking or something. Ooh. And because like multiple people were posting it from the same, like, you know, the same situation. And I just got one that's similar to the, the messages that I've been what? seeing on TikTok. What's, I mean, it's, it's, it's really weird. It's like um, a lot of the letters have like accents on it and shit, like all over the place. <clears throat> What's up? Uh, it, is this Pablo? I'm Treasure. We messaged on Scout last time. I came up to visit my mother, but we never connected for lunch. I'm back in town for a little bit if you wanted to actually meet up while I'm here. Are you up for it? Are you Look, up for it? It looked just like it kind of. Well, I mean, obviously not all the accents, but Weird. it was those type of messages and they'll send a picture like you just so got one? if I respond going, I don't remember who this is. They'll, they'll probably send a picture of a random person from Google. Oh, People Block that's that crazy. Shit. You know, it's so sad. There, there's a handful of people that fall for it. I know. I know. And I they'll... know. It's really, it's, it's scary. Yeah. If you guys, are, anybody, any of you are getting fucking messages from random numbers saying that you met up a long time ago? Wait, I think I this is an opinion. What? Huh? This is in uh, those accents. Wait, no, it's not. No, the accents are just. I don't know. I think they're just doing. Isn't that it called opinion? Um, Chinese like phonetics above it. Should I message back saying I don't remember? Uh, 
Who is this? FaceTime. Them. I just no 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 no. I just want to see if they send like a picture, like a picture of themselves, just like the TikTok. You did. Oh my god. Oh. They sent a picture. They sent a picture. Oh my god. You should say your name is Pablo. No, he said, hey, Pablo, this is oh. treasure. Uh, text said back saying, oh, my God, did I just actually text some random dude? Oh, my God, my bad. I'm such an idiotic some of the time. So now they're expecting me to go, oh, no, let's meet up. She's Invite pretty, him over. Yeah. Okay, no. In situations like this, wouldn't it be the best thing to do is take to, take this to the police and have them, like, pretend that... It's on they an probably encrypted have like number. a burner phone. Or no, no, something. I'm saying meet actually meet up, but like it's not me. It's somebody They're that's. Gonna, it's. I bet it's not about meeting up. She's gonna ask for money. Yeah. It's. Oh. I'm in college right now. Keep it going. Oh, you see, I think the, I think of the worst. Keep you it, say keep it going. Like that. yeah, that's good. Oh though. my that's go, good that you Oh my do god, that. it's so good to see you. How have you been? And how's your aunt? No, Becca. I'm just no, worried. She, I, I'm worried that they're gonna attach this to, uh, to she me. Said, no, she said. Oh my god, I can't believe I just texted a random number. A random number. Oh, just no. Wait and go. Wait, no. Hold on. This is Pablo. My bad. Um, how's your dog doing? What was his name again? Rufio. And I want to see, <laughs> see how creative they're gonna get. Rufio. <laughs> hold on, hold on. What do I text back? Rufio. What do I text back? Oh my gosh! I sorry, I totally got confused. Yeah, this is Pablo. Wait, wait. wait. I... How the hell have you been? This how's your dog? What was his name again? All right, I I did. Oh my god, I totally got confused. This is Pablo. How's the dog? He's still sick. I don't know if we've ever talked about this, but have you ever wondered if you did go away and lock yourself in a room, how long would it take for somebody to find you? Like, how long could Zane go missing where we would be like, let's call his mom, and then we're calling your family and we can't find I you? I think it would take a full, uh, no, no, more than 24 hours. The thing is that there's times where we don't see each other for right. no. a year or two. Kept I think two days not hearing from Zane at all two is days. bizarre. Yeah. But a full day is not bizarre. Like if you called full me all day, day and I didn't yeah, answer, you happened. probably wouldn't like think. If it hits no, that I would. Day. I think it's weird, especially because like Matt lives with you. If like nobody's seen you, none of our friends have seen you. So I would Sorry. instantly the think something was day, wrong. How many hours? Wrong. How many also, hours? Also, maybe I got your location on. You go missing. I'm gonna be right there. Speaking of that, I thought Heath got arrested last night. Oh I, yeah. Oh, that's so funny. We, so we were um, <laughs> I was driving through, uh, on Kwanga or something. Uh, I was in Hollywood, and I drive and I see a blue Lamborghini stop by a cop car. I'm like, huh? Well, it's not Heath. So, and then I keep driving. I get home and I wake up at like eight in the morning and I check my phone. And our friend Jenny Venter she DMs me a picture of that scene from her apartment and goes. Is this Heath? Because if that's a, if that's the case, he's in big trouble. He's been there for a long time, and it's just uh, the dude is like outside of the car. Wait, like talk, the, wait, talk the dude's me. outside of the car, just like this with a cop, and like it looked like it looks like he was getting arrested. Behind. It looked like Heath, and immediately I go to my uh, maps. Or I go to the find my uh, find my iPhone, and I see he's in downtown at eight in the morning. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my God! Like what? What the? What the fuck happened? We're at a photo shoot, and I get missed calls and texts from me. He's like, "Yo, Heath, what? What's going on? Everything okay? You good?" And I'm like, I call him back. I'm like, "Yo!" But he called me back like 20, 30 minutes later. So like the whole time, I, oh, you should have uh, seen what I was doing. I was on uh, I was on Google like LAPD.com. I was like searching my name, searching for your name you on like those sites, the jail county records. Yeah, because I was like. We had to do that one time for a friend. We won't say that person's name. They're like, oh, yeah. They're kind of we like had... far distance from our friend group. Yeah. But it was one night they went turd. totally missing. We could not find them. Nobody could find them. We'd even message her parents, her brothers. Nobody had heard from her. And then I had the good idea. I'm going to check L.A. County booking records. And I found her that they, that she got booked at like four in the morning. Jesus, it was so was fucking terrifying though because we were at we were at a sketchy fucking party. After it, it was an it after was, rave. it was a party that we were oh, not was this supposed the to be at. Warehouse rave you told me about. Yeah, yeah. I remember when we were in Some there. We were already shit. looking at each other and going, "Just let's be careful here." Like it was already like, "Okay, this is like a strange place." And then why wouldn't you uh, just leave? Um, because the music was bumping. <laughs> I know we were like. 
this is crazy, this is really sketchy, but then those two twins from 21 Jump Street. Oh, yeah. There, what are their names? They were there, so we're like, oh, we're good. Yeah, so it was like, it was a pop <laughs> it must be vibe. Okay. It wasn't too sketchy, but it was definitely like an illegal no, after party. No, if we party. get a weird feeling, we're yeah. out. Uh -huh. And this was a party where you had to go to a certain, like, a park empty parking lot, and you get picked up, like, in this shuttle, and well, then you, and then that's how no, you go. No, this was one where we went to a parking lot, and we are like, this isn't the party, and this guy comes up and goes, are you guys looking for the party? And he gives you a slip of paper. This is an ad Address. We go to that address, oh. and then there's another person who gives us a world? slip of paper, and then we go to the where the real party is at. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool, but like definitely just like, it's like we're, a scavenger hunt. Dude, were you there with me at that BDSM one? No, what? no, but you you talk about what it all the time. I walked into this out this it's after like, party like at like the these happen at three in the morning after stuff. the bars have closed, and so it's kind of like a private party where they're still hold on, hold on. Oh. Explain. She she was wondering what BDSM stands for. It's like where like people like get Pleasure tied up from for pain. like. S and like they S and M yeah BDSM. It's a very like sexual like party. Yeah, oh. yeah. And walk in, it's this crazy like deep Russian house music playing. <laughs> but it wasn't like too sketchy of a crowd. But they had these like stands where people would like were taking turns getting tied and chained up. And then having this woman just smack your ass with a paddle. What? And like ones with like people the are completely spikes, like naked. And everybody's watching it. Um, what I feel like there was a topless bartender there who was kind of you know a total like feminist chick with like. You know, oh, so you know what? He's not the uh, um. I the one I was thinking about was I think David went to. It. I think David didn't know what it was, and then he got there, and it was like a. Uh, it was like a pretty. It was like a whole fucking like sex. Oh, an orgy. Or... Orgy party, and everybody was fucking naked. He couldn't. I believe cannot it. believe those are real things. He was like the only one that like he was the only one that had clothes on, pretty much. And he he came and was just like, oh my god, where am I? It was like somewhere downtown. But like I remember him telling me, I was just that's like, that's crazy. Even insane. on his serums, guys, look. <laughs> guys, and everyone is guys naked. check this out. Like, yeah, yeah. But like, shit, it's crazy that shit like that is happening all the time, just around you. And you just have no yeah. idea. That is so and people bizarre. People were taking to me. turns. People were lined up like it was a theme park ride to get their ass beat by this woman with these different types of paddles and whips. No way. And that everyone's is so watching. Weird. It was bizarre. The people that go to it all the time, they know. But David, when he got invited by like some some dude that he 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 didn't know what it was, so he saw an invitation for a party. He was just like, okay, I'm gonna like stop by and see what it's about. And then walk in, and it was that just like so eyes wide weird, shut. That. Weird. People. Honestly, I would love to just walk in. I just want to see what what that's like. What the fuck it is? I'm like, the what same that way. Looks where I'd like. like, I like to take a peek. Yeah, just to like see what it's all about. But then I'd be like, I'm out of here because it goes right in my brain, and I come here and I could talk about it. Because like, that's like, like stuff you see in a movie, but you don't expect to be real. Yeah, and then to like see it in person, you're probably like. Like remember the Tom Cruise movie with like everybody in the mask? eyes wide shut, eyes wide shut, or like walking Crazy. into like one of those like Illuminati parties or something. Yeah. Like, I don't Illuminati parties. There. There's like wait, no, I mean we there's there's shit that we've heard that's like that shit definitely exists. Those there's like some crazy. there's some weird shit. Yeah, there's oh, no group chat for the Illuminati. The, you no, know? I think there is like a like a higher up type group that does some crazy shit. Yeah, like we're I, I we're so. like money doesn't mean anything to these people. Like imagine having all the money in the world and like you could just fucking buy whatever you want, do whatever you want, and like you run everything. Like the shit that they would do just to like get like their kicks. I think that, like, I think that that I'm way sure of they're life doing is some, like the Illuminati. I'm sure they're doing some crazy fucked up stuff. I believe it. It's mm. weird hearing other people's ideas of fun. Like those like crazy parties that you guys are talking about, like that, like people choose to go. That sounds like, <laughs> to me, that sounds like, that sounds like a the panic The bars attack. are closed. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> like that is crazy. You should, you should talk to me when you say something like that. It's just interesting, like people's interest. Like, it, I mean, it makes everybody unique and it keeps things like fun, right. but that's cra Like I have zero interest i wouldn't even want to peek it's because when you're like really drunk and it's two in the morning and you're not tired there's no like you just want to keep going you know i, I mean? don't think there's if it was three in the morning not one ounce of me would be like i want to crawl into chains and no have no, no. no. Like you're talking about that paddle. oh okay yeah. no no i, I didn't mean, mean that i thought you that's were... what we were just talking about no, i yeah. know no i know i know i know i just um you thought a party in general no, no, I was uh, like, I thought you were like uh, talking about just people that wanted to just keep it going. Doesn't matter what you do, just like that no, too. like a, get over it. 
<laughs> there are freaks. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. There's freaks out there, though. It's LA. Yeah, that, it's just so interesting. I, I'm sure Matt has a couple of freaky things that he likes to do. Matt loves Me? that. Mm -hmm. He loves unique, quirky. It's a good story. Anything that's just good for the plot. You ever um, been tied up, Matt? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was not the answer I was expecting. I've seen way too many movies where that yeah. would it would freak me out. Not to a bedpost. To a jail cell? No, I've been like <laughs> tied up. Oh, I don't know. Maybe Ooh, this that's is a too much. Oh, this, no, this is I know. I kind of like this. This, this is this is a uh, filter. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you got you guys finally time. get it a little bit of it. Oh, so you got tied up. I was. This I think is like this is so interesting because it's unexpected. Leather. No, one time I was hanging out with this girl and she had handcuffs already on the bed and then but like the lights were off and i was like what was that because i heard like this like what was that and she goes, oh. <laughs> james uh, james um uh, i was like what stuff. was that she's like oh it's like nothing i'm like are those handcuffs she's like i, I mean yeah and then I leaves like, it out on purpose oh yeah so, right, how do you not put uh, that away yeah and then i was like okay and then what happened well, do they and fit? And then she put me in handcuffs. Imagine me trying to be Not kinky. to bed posts. I would never do bed posts. I don't think I would ever trust somebody enough to handcuff. <laughs> like, Where's no. the key? <laughs> uh-uh. After watching uh, Gerald's Game, Gerald's game I, I will never allow uh, that. Oh, we watched that, right? Or, or we, we saw the trailer young woman. for it. Yeah. I thought we watched, I think we watched it. No, where she? I thought like, it was. I think we thought it was the, stupid, the wife. Though. The wife and the husband. They yeah. go to a the mom cabin. From Spy Kids. That one is crazy like, because that's real life. That could actually happen. It's very rare, yeah, right. but it's a possibility that that could happen. Oh yeah, in the middle of nowhere. I love how like Matt. Have you ever, like in a cardigan? Have you yeah. been tied up? <laughs> yes. 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 Have you ever been tied up? Yes. Um, yes. Uh, Me trying to be kinky. I'm in like spandex, like, <laughs> like the, the a cat suit. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's suctioned out all the air in it. <laughs> no, I never did that. I saw a, a TikTok of a video in Vegas with a guy who was like bound up like a dog walking around on a leash in the casino floor. Like I a saw that too. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I saw, I that, saw too. that. People pay serious money just to get tied up and told that they're a piece of I shit. I think uh, no, and what and who's <laughs> getting paid though? The girl or the He's guy? He's paying her to walk him around. But like, like okay, that. Wow. what? That, Submission. That is not normal. But in publicly right, like that, like that's crazy. That, like, like that is like inhumane, right? It is just wrong. Well, it's not normal. That is yeah. not People normal. People have weird kinks, my man weird kinks but i feel like if obviously i'm not for that but like somebody in their life or does not feel like they're as good of a person as they're being told and that they're being validated by and they they want to feel like they're a piece of this uh, I don't know. A, a <laughs> like to me if, of... if, if that's his kink and he likes being uh, like walked around like that publicly that's like that crazy. imagine what else he's doing like just... gary is that <laughs> gary <laughs> Gary, get that mask off. I'm sorry. What are you doing? We're supposed to be at the. We have a meeting. The sales conference. Man, I love the. Wait, I'm sorry. One second, Gary. Gary, get, get Gary. up. Stand up on your own two your, feet. Take your that. Your kids. Your kids are here. Take get that up. ball gag out of your mouth. <laughs> I'm just thinking, I'm just laughing at like other people's like guilty pleasures. And I was like, what is my, like, I was just thinking like. Schmuckers on cross balls. Schmuckers on cross balls. <laughs> <laughs> my guilty pleasure. There should Schmuckers be sneaking them shits in the middle of the night. Peanut butter jelly Schmuckers sandwiches. has a rave. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> that is my guilt. Like that is hysterical. The, the gags are just a whole smucker <laughs> in the mouth. Just All like... right, you're gonna ruin it for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're, you're wearing like the, uh, the crustables <laughs> as like a. All right. The bra strap is the crustable. Stop! 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 <laughs> the crust. The crust. <laughs> <laughs> the jams <laughs> i bet you if you let mariah set up that party i bet you she would come up with some pretty, pretty fucking oh my god shit. everyone's trying to figure out what i'm doing for my 27th birthday uncrustable theme peanut butter jelly party <laughs> i like that rave. that's fun what's Crustle. the theme you can only wear crust <laughs> mariah's birthday's next week guys if you didn't know it's her golden birthday believe it or not i'm turning 27 <laughs> That doesn't even sound real. That's crazy. I'll be 27 on the 27th. Like seeing Carly like that, she's 30 now. I know. And it's fucking nuts. We're getting up there. I'm cool with it. I love it no, too. It's, no, it's no. Yeah, He's no. I'm fine with it too. To turn 30. I'm like, I can't wait to be my. 30s. I think. I, I think I'm terrified because I feel like. I feel like. I don't like oh it. my god! There's so many things that like I was supposed to do when I was 
But look how much is there is ahead of you. I'm just bummed about Forbes 30 under 30. <laughs> I really thought I was 21. I really thought Forbes 30 under 30 was going to happen. Yeah. Probably will most likely not happen. No. I think is yeah. there a podcast section for Forbes 30 under 30? And can we get up in that? Because there's a lot of subcategories. Trust me, probably not. The there amount might of fact checking that we don't do it. <laughs> I think what scares me about getting older, it means like my relatives are getting older, and I think that's oh, like yeah, that's I start like I start getting nope. like really yeah. fucked up, I don't and like I nope, hate nope, about nope, that. oh my nope. god, I don't want to think it about is the it. worst feeling in the world. Enjoy exactly. every moment you have. Mm -hmm. I like long and like dream of a time when like people had like giant properties and they just raised huge families and everybody <laughs> lived on it, and it was just like polygamy. No, <laughs> no, polygamy. Like the Amish. <laughs> Like where it would just be like a big commune. ass families and they just like. But do you want that? Like, do you really want to be around your That's why I'm saying it's a little too close. Much? Like, I would be in the same state. Maybe not like, maybe a good like 45 minutes away is like perfect. Yeah. yeah. Right? Because Maybe an hour, an hour, two hours. Because if you live too close, whenever you do something and they're not told or they weren't invited, it's going to become this thing where like, why didn't you, why didn't you invite us to dinner? Yeah. It's like, well, we were just going out as a, as a, as a family. Like there was a video of this woman like had her baby and she just passed it over the fence to her parents. And I was like, that's too close. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. No not. In the moment you're like, oh my gosh, that's so convenient. That must be nice if you need a break for a second. But like every day that close forget it yeah i've had some friends who've had to like draw lines with their parents once they start having kids yeah. or like you know they think oh i get to see my grandkid three times a week and it's like no like we'll see you maybe once a week but like some people's grandparents are like oh well you only live 20 minutes away can't well, i well but then we're gonna come back for dinner time. yeah that's why i've been trying to fly home more though i yeah. would love to get to the point where i go once a month i would love that oh, right nice. now i'm like every couple of months every few months um but i can't stand going on instagram and seeing like all my cousins and my aunts and uncles together and i couldn't make it to yeah. like an oh. event and then i start getting like this guilty feeling yeah like should oh, I be like, going like, more? Like no, like just being away from the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, coming out here to like chase a dream and like make money and like you know do this shit. I'm like, well, I'm putting that above like being with my family. And then like I get like really in my head about it. But then you think about, well, I'm doing this for my family because in the long run, I want to make right. all this money That's to right. like help right. them out in the long run. Which yeah. is the goal, but yes. like it's but like it this sucks. entire time being away. <laughs> yeah. We just like, wish we just, just wish this shit was faster. Yes. Like just like faster you. so we can go back. Maybe we should this do life... OnlyFans. We'll get, <laughs> get <laughs> out of here quicker. Make a quick buck and dip. <laughs> this fucking <laughs> unfiltered OnlyFans. <laughs> How did your grandpa now, make all this money? I don't want to be nude, so I do the Uncrustables thing. I, I wanted to show you guys something this popped up on my feed you guys uh know when you're like on tiktok or just on instagram there'll be like a sponsored mobile game ad and like it's like the animated ones where it's like they're either it's like for you know to take care of your like farm or whatever you know those ads right there's been ads recently that have been just like huh like it's a it's a it's a it's like a kid's game it's like animated it's cartoon and yes I hate the ones where it's like a person they're like drowning in a room and they have to like remove a key and like save this oh, person yes. and you're it, like that game is it real? It doesn't make sense, <laughs> but th but these I these these, these mobile game ads are just like they are so out like it's like the whole what, I just got to show it to you because I can't even explain what what I'm seeing here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show, give give you. I just get post. Ben Platt now on my freaking TikTok feed all the time. Who's you, Ben Platt? Happy to be sad. Here, Mariah, I'm gonna airdrop it to uh, you. And he's gay. he's gay. I've never heard of any. And he's gay. I mean, blind. <laughs> <laughs> the, the fucking news. A man water. who climbed Mount Everest, but he's gay. I mean, blind. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> how did you mess up? Was that like the teleprompter guy like was just fucking with her? Like, how no, did he get No, she it? got so excited. <laughs> she, knew, she knew there was something to get like. But he's, he's gay. gay. He's blind. I mean, blind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, who fuck. is that man? I bet that man does exist. He, the first blind guy now is more notarized, not being the first blind guy, <laughs> but like the one who was confused if he was gay. Oh my god. Okay, Mariah, don't play it yet. <laughs> Are we playing this at the same time? Um, That's okay. We can play it like a run. Go ahead. Let's play it. Are you ready? And go. Yo, 
That'll get you to watch the whole thing, though. <laughs> what? Oh, I didn't even think of it like that. Like, because they need people just to sit there and see. Yeah. Wait, what? It's all so, to keep your attention. So it's it's Lily's so garden. Where it's, so, so it's a garden she, game, but like they... She, she sees she's pregnant. Fake the pregnancy. Goes and tells the her husband that she's pregnant. He and leaves. then he zips off on a Vespa. <laughs> he doesn't even react to it. He actually seems like he's happy. Yeah. And then she sits on the front porch. Crying. Wipes off the second line on the pregnancy test. Flips it around like it's a fucking revolver, <laughs> puts it in her pocket, and walks back inside. And, and, then, and then you Lily's. see the, uh, the the game. The name of the game is called Lily's Garden. Sounds like what? I kind of want to play this game. <laughs> right now we now we gotta play it. No, it's but the game the has nothing to do with, with the, the drama. No, with the drama. The game is just literally probably like a garden game that's like for. Or maybe they're calling this a garden. I was like, thinking that like too. Like Adam and Eve, like. I know, but what would what's the pregnancy the... and the I don't know that is bizarre. we gotta download it really interesting so did you see if it was real yeah no no these are real these are real oh no, I'm saying oh, did like... you download it did you check the app oh store? well I saw the replies of everybody saying that it was real but let me you got it Zane I would have dug I would have been up all night playing Lily's Garden well In I didn't want to I didn't want to like go too far I just screen recorded it and I like saved it for just like us to talk about it yes it exists Lily's Garden download it what the hell. Oh my God, 202,000 reviews. That but means that the video worked good reviews? really well. Uh, five stars. Yeah. Did it charge you? No, no, no. Look, it says in-app purchases under the get button. My kid's not getting a phone until they're 25 <laughs> years old. I know. They're making it really hard for us to want to it give our kids phones. It is crazy what these Pretty kids wild. are exposed to. Oh, yeah. Did you see the new Tesla bot? I saw. Oh, I was going to talk. I was going to bring that up. The Tesla bot? robot. Yeah, it looks like iRobot. Yeah, it's it's like Wait, to like it, it can only like, move five miles an hour. It can only pick up forty five pounds. Wait, what is it supposed to do? They're saying like it could like go get like your groceries and like do stuff for you. And I like, I have a question though. I feel like you know, and I <laughs> imagine seeing one in the store. <laughs> like what? They do have grocery store robots that clean up like yeah. the aisles and stuff. They're pretty interesting, and they put like googly eyes on them. <laughs> yeah, and they move around. It's very bizarre. It's don't really make it look weird. like a human. Don't make it look like a human. That's my biggest thing with just the robots. I don't like human looking robots. Just make it look like a different kind of thing. Yeah. Then it's just, weird. Then you have to start treat do you treat it with the same amount of like respect as another human? Yes, you do. Do you have to like you know, nod, do you nod to a robot? <laughs> Use like, your P's and Q's? Yeah. Uh excuse me, could you could you yeah. the store for me? You please? can't like you can't program feelings into a robot, right? Oh. That's that's like what if they made a robot Alexa? Oh my god! Oh, Everyone's so. gonna say my Alexa went off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's why they can never name a character in a movie now. Be, uh, that no anywhere. one's ever gonna name their kid Alexa now. Right? Ever. I'm That's pretty to crazy. Whisper it now. But like, no, no. Serious question though. You can't pro like. I know iRobot was this like whole fictional movie, but like you, the robot can only do what it's programmed to do. Like you, it can't just like go uh, you, off like with what like, it's programmed <clears throat> to with do. a program. I'm sure you could like set something for it to react to like something in a certain way and it'll have like all sorts of like data to like if you were like yelling at it i'm sure there's like a thing that they could encode for it to like react back or say like have a certain emotion back to it I but don't i don't know. think they would program anything negative into something like that because i think like that would be really bad you Ugh. never know sorry you never know you never know, but it could also have like a bit of a sense of humor too. Like I saw um, some Japanese robot oh, at a yeah. restaurant where it's like super cute. It's like, this is your order. Enjoy it. And if you get in the way of it, it goes, please move. <laughs> like it says it in this like cute, like angry voice where it makes people laugh and then you move. agree to it. Like <laughs> some people might not take that the right way. They'll just. <laughs> uh, I feel like we just need to stop. Yeah, uh, we, bring it on. You can't stop it. There's I no know. way, buddy. We you got to keep is, we riding, enjoying this ride. I like, don't we know. We needed phones. We needed these things, but you don't need robots. <laughs> I do not have For enough what? willpower to stop the advancement of robots. All we can do is continue to have conversations about I it. Yes. I, I can't. It, what? It, I and can't Elon has enough money to do whatever the fuck he wants to do. So, We're going to you know? burn ourselves to the ground. Yeah. I'm optimistic. I hopefully they can uh, do some good. The, and ro help the robots? The, yes. Yes. But um, as long as they're not like, really replacing jobs, but really trying to do some good and benefiting areas where um, people who need assistance can be benefited from <gasps> like it. Like Meals on Wheels, but robots. Yes. Yeah. Fun. A lot of that. 
and stuff that maybe jobs that are too dangerous that like a human can't do and a robot can you know can, will the robot be able to twerk probably <laughs> wrong robot zane <laughs> just <laughs> a star spot <laughs> stassi body <It's> stassi body <laughs> That's Domo a, the, Igato, Mariah, the, Amato. <laughs> a robot of me would just have a couple like loose screws. <laughs> Is that girl still blowing you up? Oh shit, no, I didn't check. But um Zane meets up with her tonight. Yeah. Guys, I gotta He's go. He's drunk. He yeah. Oh she answered back. She said, Thank you for not being ticked off. I guess not all men are assholes that give out wrong phone numbers. Haha. <laughs> Want to text? What's your name, hard eyes? Awesome pleasure meeting you. Thanks for being kind. Happy face. What say, sort of stuff do you do for fun? Happy face. See, it's Pablo we've met before. <laughs> What's your dog's name? Now play it hurt. You don't remember me? I just don't know why they don't try to make it like realistic. Why do they have to make it? Because it's a bot. <laughs> It's a bot. Probably. Oh, I thought it was just like the same idiot. Because it, it didn't answer back to the dog question. No. It's a bot. All right, guys, we're going to close this one out. Uh, are tune in fuck? next week to see what happens with Zane and his date. Are you, should I say, are you okay? Question mark. Yeah. You seem drunk. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's it for today's episode of Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Um, tune in next week to see if I end up going on a date with this. Um, what's her name? Treasure. Treasure. No, her name's not Treasure. Oh, her name is Treasure. I'm Treasure. Treasure. <laughs> Tell me <laughs> who you are. Uh, I hope you're gonna you're be my, my one and true and star. star. That's all we got. All right, guys. All right. Uh, audio every single Monday. Uh, podcast, Apple, Spotify, however you listen. Uh, video every single Tuesday. YouTube.com slash Zane and he. And, and a lot of y'all right now are starting, you know, school. You're going to class. This is a great time to listen to the podcast whenever you're walking to class on your way to school. Find all those opportunities. Not during class. Sneak exactly. it in your Attention. hoodie while you're in math exactly. class. Just Great kinda... time to start listening to us on Spotify, on Absolutely. Apple Podcasts. Uh, all right, guys. We'll see you next week. All right. We love you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.